Oh, okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, too, nice. late, too late, too late, too late, too late. It's finally happened. The game is beginning right now. Frodu, the birthday boy, facing off against 560 Soke, who is often wearing his birthday suit. That's fair. I agree with that. All right. So, uh, yeah, he this season, as I guess as of late, it's been heavily fa uh, favored for uh, 560. But um, Julius, Julius has taken his has had his number a couple times. So, it is his birthday. We'll see. He gets the birthday. He's buff. a year older. He's a year wiser. We'll see what he gets. Good angle from him right there. Getting the sweet spot. All right. 560. Give him a little birthday grenades. Birthday grenades to present on himself. It was a you know it was a strat. Um, in Brawl for Snake to blow himself up if he was playing against Pikachu like right at the beginning because Pikachu had a zero to death at, at like zero percent. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, but it didn't work at slightly higher percents somehow. I, and so you just you blew yourself up. Yeah, I wonder like, how right that away. works. You basically like drop the C4, pull out a grenade, explode the C4, and then you just take enough percent where you're good at that point. That makes sense. <laughs> so something that I wanted to bring up <coughs> yeah. is... I noticed that Julius likes to use a lot of aura neutral bees. The okay. The the spear bomb. I feel like he doesn't really get too oh, much the, out of it. The the like the big one. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. I gotcha. feel like he should like save it more for side bees during combos and stuff like that mm -hmm. to get kills. You know. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, it's like kind of depends on the position. I think of like a lot of characters in the cast, it could be good against Snake because his like recovery, while it's not linear per se, because he could drop down. Mm -hmm. When he is like in the position where he kind of just has to cipher. Uh -huh. It's like that part of it is pretty like uh, gotcha. what's the word? It's like it's uh, predictable. Predictable, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know if you could actually but, like you. You can tell it's gonna happen. Right. Predictable. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say. I mean, unless you're planning on going below ledge and throwing one below ledge, mm -hmm. I think he can. I think he can definitely can totally save. Yeah. Spot no, you, you, you would you, if you if you want to use it against Snake. That's where you would use it. I just thought it just like short hop off stage and like uh, I see reverse. Yeah, I dare go for it a lot. Oh and it works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice how one sided it was so far. I like, uh, so 560's like, he's got the edge guard game down really, really well. Like, by, he stays on stage and he puts the mine. Mm -hmm. Like, not not quite exactly oh on, on the ledge, but like close enough to where when, when Frodo, if he decides to go on stage, he gets hit by it. If he gotcha. decides to go to the ledge, he. He has to like invincible wave dash or like he, oh, he's, he's basically pressured at the ledge at that point, and uh, I think Freddy kind of has a hard time getting off at uh, when he's in that position. All right, they uh, for, uh, hand warmer number one. two. Hand warmer number two. Yeah, hand warmers each game. So what do you think they're gonna go? What's a good stage for Lucario in this matchup? Uh, Julius is gonna go PS2. Yeah, uh, just because it's his favorite stage. Because it's his birthday and it's his favorite stage. <laughs> he's thinking. I don't like that. I said it with such certainty that I'm going to look so dumb. God oh damn it. God. Wow. Oh I had such God. confidence in my... I ran off and down aired, and then I missed. <laughs> Last stock. All right, interesting. I. Um, so what do you think he likes this stage? <coughs> Specifically, like, in this matchup? I don't know. I mean... I it's probably hard. It's probably hard for Snake to get down once he can get him above without platforms, like to actually mix up his where he's gonna land. Yeah, because gotcha. it's like there's down air, but like if you get a hit of down air, it's gonna lose a trade against any move that Lucario puts out. Ooh, that mm. was good. Yeah, and Lucario. Oh, that was really good. Ooh, that was clean. That was clean. I think I would have liked it more if it was uh, Aura Charge Neutral B. <laughs> it could work. It could work. Uh, I think, uh, so as far as, like, getting down goes, the nice thing for Lucario is he has, like, his down B will send him at an angle, and he can, I want to say he can be reversed, I don't know that for sure, but, like, it feels like he has more options getting down, like, to mix up his, uh, mix up getting down than Snake would have, so. That's true. It's like, yeah, down B is just, like, a, a very, it's like a way yeah. better air dodge of sorts. Well, that's a really good use I of think what B. Snake loses on the combo game with the platforms, Lucario, if he has aura, he can, like, he can still keep his combos going too, you know, and like Snake's had a decent weight where like having oh, no platform. That was a great tech. Having no platform is, is going to help uh, Lucario as well because he's just going to be able to combo him. Okay. Ooh, gets behind him and hits the butt. I like that. All right. 
a little slow oh. to get up off of the uh, the ledge, but it doesn't wa matter. Makari, er he walked so slowly with such confidence. That was the weakest up air I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. I don't think there's any surviving that one at that point. Oh my! All right, calls out. The, yeah, calling out yeah. the calling out the down bees. He's gonna mix up. That's where it gets. That's where I would say it gets a, a little bit harder for Julius on the stage is like mixing up the like the direct approach. Yeah. Um, and Snake, you know, Snake wants you to approach him, <laughs> so it can be hard to mix him up. Yeah, Ju Julius seems like he has really good control of his movement. Like he's even doing like uh, like just like beer versus neutral airs so that it can, he can like bait it to look like he's approaching and then just like reverse yeah. all beer versus neutral beast. Around. Yeah. Oh yeah, neutral beast. Oh no, that's oh that's rough. That's the risk of like going off stage to punish those uh, of bees by snake. Yeah, you, just you, get you up gotta and die. you have to go off stage to fight against snake though. Yeah. Like, he just he won't die if you just let yeah. him back every time. He has a long recovery, and it is good, but like it's not as good as I think people think it is most of the time. Like he has, you can exploit the, the cipher and like certain angles of, of approach to the ledge, and it's like mm -hmm. you kind of have to go off there and challenge that in a smart way, obviously. Yeah. But um, you just can't like let him get he, back for free. I like the way he did it the first stock where he just like fared him into the stage. Yeah. Of course, he has to miss the tech, but I think that was like optimal. Yeah, the first times when Julius did it, he did it, I don't know, he was like, he was standing like pretty far on stage and then just really, really quick got to the ledge and yeah. put out like a really fast hitbox. So it's like, it's very tough very to react. Very hard to react. Yeah. All right, he is stuck right on the forehead. This should be it. That's it. Oh, oh wow. All right. I think he's still dead. Birthday like, oh, no, he's, he's messing with him. But this is how Julius comes back. Bullying the birthday boy. Will it, will it come back to bite him? Yeah. He, Fuck yeah. yeah. I feel like Clayton will often do this, where he'll like mess with them like twice and doesn't actually mess with them. He just screws up and uh -huh. then he just kills them. 